Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Bobby from Repair Shopper with another Feature Friday video. This week we're going to be talking about a new addition to Repair Shopper that I am very excited to talk about. Uh, this is something I think a lot of people have been asking about for quite a while. So hopefully everyone's just as excited as I am once I show it off. So we have introduced something called the outtake form. And for those of you that are maybe a little bit familiar with the intake form, right now, if you're using it, you can, uh, when you check a ticket or create a ticket in, excuse me, you can have ticket worksheets set up for the check-in process and you can have the customer sign uh, terms and conditions uh, for the ticket when it's being dropped off. Well, you can now do that as well on the checkout. So when you're handing the uh, device back to the customer, you can go through a process and have someone sign that they're picking it up. So enough with that, let's show you how it works. First thing you need to do is head to admin and then the ticket preferences. You will see a new section called enable outtake form. Uh, it's worth noting that you can have both the intake and the outtake enabled uh, or one or the other, up to you. Remember to hit save down at the bottom and you're good to go there. Uh, the outtake form does have its own template in the PDF email template sections. It behaves just like any other template. Uh, you can click the edit button to go in and make any changes to the look and feel you want. And there's all of these tags that can be used on this template as well. So that should be something you're familiar with at this point. Uh, another really neat thing about the outtake form is uh, in a very similar manner to the intake form on custom ticket fields, you can actually set up custom terms and conditions for the outtake form. Uh, so go into a, a ticket custom field and then you'll see a link here and you can click that. Uh, this is especially handy for those of you that offer different types of services like water damage repairs on cell phones to maybe data backups versus infection removals. This allows you to have that kind of granular detail on the intake and the outtake if you want. So let's see it in action. Head over to a ticket and the way it works, there's two ways to get to it. First way from the ticket detail, you just got to go new outtake form and it'll take you directly there. And again, it's very similar to the intake form flow. Uh, you can have ticket worksheets, so you can have your technicians kind of kind of cover the repair or whatever service you provided with the customer, um, whether you're in the field or uh, in, in a shop, this will be especially handy in, in showing the work you did for the customer. Um, it'll show ticket comments. And of course you can have your custom terms and conditions here and you'll collect a signature. If you used an intake form, the original signature will also show here. So you're getting one when the service is checked in and now you can collect one when the service is checked out. Very handy to have. So you hit accept terms and that's it. Uh, you can obviously view the PDF. Auto printer will have a outtake form trigger as well. So you can set it up to automatically print uh, from there when an outtake form is generated. The second way to generate a outtake form is let's say you need to charge the customer for the service. So head to the invoice, just like you normally would, take the payment. And on the screen where you're usually offered to just close the ticket, there's a new button here that says resolve ticket and open outtake form. So what this will do is this will resolve the ticket and just take you directly into the outtake form so that you can begin the process of showing uh, your customer what you did in the repair and collect their signature. So I hope everyone super enjoys this. This will be available in the mobile app that's coming. So for those of you that have field technicians and you want this process in the mobile app that is being worked on and will be available soon. For now it's, it's in the web-based form, but it's definitely coming to the mobile app. I'm super happy to be showing this off to everyone. I hope people make great use of it. And if you have any feedback, please let us know. And I hope everyone has a great week. I'll see you in the next one.